The Dong River has long been the main water source for many cities in southern China's Guangdong province. It also provides drinking water for the 7 million residents of Hong Kong. But in recent times, the 500-kilometer-long river has become severely polluted. The causes are many. Unbridled mining, excessive logging, runoff from large-scale agricultural production, and a lack of environmental awareness on the part of the government and the people. RFA recently traveled the length of the Dong for a first-hand look at the contamination of a river. This woman remembers as a child drinking sweet water directly from the river and washing her hair at the water's edge. Now, she says, she would never do that. The headwaters of the Dong River lie in Shunwu County, located in Jiangxi Province's mountainous south. The scene there is disheartening. The river had nearly dried up, leaving only a few muddy yellow puddles less than knee-deep. This man says nearby forests were cut down to make way for orange groves. Now, when the rainy season arrives, a large amount of sediment is dumped into the river. Due to stiff competition, local farmers employ heavy doses of pesticides and fertilizers to increase crop yields. Most of the advertisements on local television are for pesticides to prevent defoliation and loss of fruit. Those chemicals eventually end up in the river. Nevertheless, a massive slogan carved into a mountainside near the river says, strive for 600,000 mu of fruit trees. This driver says wealthy people buy bottled water. He says only the poor still drink from the river. The tiny village of Santong in Shunwu County is near Mount Yajibo, said to be the source of the Dong River. People here earn about $300 a year, despite China's economic boom. This man says only the elderly and young children remain in the village. Everyone else has gone to work in the cities.